Now we bring to you the Dark Knight himself, Christian Bale. Now, Christian, how are you today? I am doing fantastic. We've, you know, we've just made the best movie of the summer, and I've heard we've got some Oscar nominations for the film, and that's really got me excited. Oh, I have heard that. Good luck on getting the Oscars. I'm pretty sure you guys have a good chance. Thanks a lot. We've worked, you know, hard and long on this film, and I'm really excited to see what happens. Well, anyways, Christian, I wanted to ask you, how did you feel about Maggie Gyllenhaal playing the role of Rachel compared to when Katie Holmes had played that role in Batman Begins? Well, both, you know, Katie and Maggie are terrific actresses, you know, and I'm was really, really happy to work with both of them on the film, and even though it was, you know, this it wasn't Katie this time around, I was still happy to work with Maggie, and she did a great job with her role. Good. So do you feel you guys had good chemistry when you were working together? I mean, being as it was her first time on the role. Well, I mean, are we, we didn't really have a problem with chemistry. We sort of, she was very committed to her role, and I guess chemistry just came along with that, you know? We really sort of really hit it off as far as acting goes. See you there. Shouldn't you be on set? Oh, we just, um, we're working on, um, the, you, you know that van scene where we just uh, jump down. Yeah. It's just very nice. And did I go well? Oh, it was great, yeah. We had to work out for it, you know, get the leg muscles on I didn't even have cords other than the uh, three on my back. But other than that, I didn't even have anything lifting me down. Yeah. Interesting. So, I know, I know. What, what have you been doing? I'm learning my lines, since I don't have them yet. I see you've got them all color-coded there. That's a nice little organization. It helps me remember my lines. Ah. Remember, I usually... I've got people that work with me for that, usually. I'm not a big shot like you. Well, ah. yeah. No, you're not, but, um... So, uh, what you, uh... What scenes are? What's you doing here? It's the one between you and I. You want me to... I, I could probably help. I mean, I've got being a more experienced actor. My eyes are up here. What, what do you mean? That you're staring at my chest. That is not your chest that I'm staring at. Yes, you are. You're doing it right now. It, it, you have a very vibrant shirt. My shirt's white. It's eye-catching kind of white. It's, it's one of those shades of white that you just like, that is really white. You just need to stop. Okay, I'm just asking you if you want to do the same. But I kindly said no thank you. I just... I, I was thinking it would be the best, the best uh, idea. What? I wouldn't care if someone came around and started staring at my face. I'm not going to sit here and argue with it. What, what, what is the point of me? I don't really see why people are like, Hey, stop staring at my boobs. Hey, stop touching my bosom. Because I have Aaron. Aaron? What's he doing? I'm with him. No, you're not. You're right there. You know what I mean. Actually, I'm over here. How'd you get over there? You're not over there. Oh, okay, you're actually over there. How'd you get over there? I came looking for you. What, what do you need me for? You know that next scene? I need to practice with you. We're not really scenes together. You know, the, the one that we're in together. Oh yeah, I forgot about that one. Well, me, me and Marty were just working on Maddie. something. Me and Henry were working on a scene together, and we were in the middle of... Yeah. No, we weren't. I told you you could she, go. She color coded her lines just just for us to work on this. Yeah, and I, I need you. I need you right now. So no, I can't no, do this without. If you. I, I, I can't. I'd really like it if you stop staring at my chest. I this talk. These are. This what are you talking of, about? Never mind. Let's. I, I I need you. So let's, you need let's to go, go with him. Come on. No, I'm, see, my just want to let you know. He is going to take help from a superior. He knows how to take direction. He, this man, Aaron Eckhart, knows what he's doing because he's going to take my superior acting skills from multiple motion pictures, including the previous Batman movie and soon to be the next Terminator movie, 
And he's going to use that to better the movie and himself. Rather than just trying to exclude me completely and just, you know... The only reason off. you want me around is you want me close to you. Not really. I just think that you are being... I'm going to deal with him. Goodbye. Two hours to shoot this. Try to get it right, please. Fine. Dick. Now, there is only one spot available right now, so we're gonna have tryouts. Oh. Oh. He's out like a wink. Go call an ambulance. Can I poke him in weird places? Go for it, man. Why didn't this break? You fucking moron. Hit it harder. I think there might have been something wrong with the eyepiece. Oh, look at you. Aww. Is it all gone? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold still. Uh, we'll worry about it later. Alright. Do it again. It's not gonna work, you dick. Now, there is only one spot available right now, so we're gonna have tryouts. Now, based on how well this production has turned out for you, how would you say Christopher has done in directing the movie? Well, you know, Tracy, you can ask me or anyone else that was involved in the movie, and every time you'll always hear the exact same thing, and it was that it just seems like Chris was born to direct the movie. Well, it sounds like he's the perfect director to have. Oh, yes, he's an absolute joy to work with, and he always expects the best out of his cast and crew, and not once will he ever grow impatient with you. <laughs> Chris, I told you, it won't break. Uh, just take that stuff out of the truck and come back to the lights. What's going on? Good job, moron. Two hours are up. 